Metal Jesus back again. Now it's been a couple months since I've shown you some of the games that I've added to my collection. But the really cool thing is, is that this time I've had some help. Actually some help from a, quite a few people who have given me stuff that, well, is it's frankly, it's awesome. I've actually added maybe about 40 or 50 games to my collection and two consoles. So that's an awful lot to get through. So I'm actually just gonna give you the highlights, but man, there is some awesome stuff here. Let's take a look. Now fans of my channel may remember a couple months ago, a good friend of mine, Aaron, donated his Sega Saturn to my, my man cave. It was awesome. I had never played a Sega Saturn before. He donated the console and a bunch of games. And recently he has moved and he calls me up on the phone. He's like, hey dude, got a bunch of games. So if you wanna come get them, they're all yours. And I'll tell you what, he donated about 30 games to my man cave. And there is some awesome stuff in there. And he is a huge RPG fan, so included in that was a great copy of, for the PlayStation 1, it's Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. And has everything inside, fantastic condition. This is a pretty sought after game. But that's not all. He included Lunar 2. And this is Eternal Blue Complete. Fantastic condition. Again, these are kind of hard to find and he just gave me these. And I have never played these games and I've heard that they've got a huge following and I can't wait to dig into these. But that's not all. Also on the PlayStation 1, he included a copy of Diablo. I gotta be honest with you, I didn't realize there was Diablo on the PlayStation 1. And I played a little bit of it to capture footage for this video and I was surprised that it seems like Diablo. So it's pretty cool to own this. I also like the inside, how it all fits together like that. So I own Diablo now. I'll, I, of course I have it on PC, but it's cool to own on PlayStation 1. In that box, he included Silent Hill, the original one. I have played Silent Hill 2, 3, and I haven't played The Room yet, but now I own the very first one. Lots of fun. He included in there a stack of Mega Man games, and that included Mega Man Legends, which I guess is another sought after game. Didn't know much about it. Seems like it's like an RPG. It's like a mix of Mega Man and role playing aspects, but it's in 3D, so that's pretty cool. Also included in there is a game called Devil Dice. Now this is a mix of maybe Tetris and dice, so it's kind of an interesting concept and a lot of people are looking for a copy of this, so I was very happy to get it. it looks really interesting. He included a game in there called S Cars and this looks like maybe a mix of Roll Cage and maybe Mario Kart, so it's a cool little racer. Good to own that. Jet Moto 2. I own the original one, but now I have the second. This is a really fun game. And actually the graphics are pretty decent for the PlayStation 1, so it's a good little racer. He also included two games in there that I didn't know much about, but they're they're pretty cool. Bushido Blade 1 and 2. So for those that don't know, and I, I didn't know this until I got these games, these are considered to be realistic fighting games. So. Essentially what it is, you can die in a single hit and the game's, it's all about um, maybe balance and the, the weapons you do, it's all about defense. And I actually would like to do a video with Drunken Master Paul reviewing these two games because he is always complaining that fighting games aren't real enough. He's, he's one of those guys where because he's, in, he's a, he's a multi-black belt, in our niece and so he's always watching kung fu movies saying ah they got it wrong they got it wrong well it'd be fun to review these games with drunken master paul and see just what he thinks also in that box from aaron is a complete copy of seaman including the microphone which is very cool you may have heard recently in my other videos these seaman jokes and that's because for the last i don't know two months i've been reviewing this game and playing through it, and I, I hope to do a video on it very shortly. So it's an incredibly wacky, weird game called Seaman.
Some of you may notice that in the beginning of my videos, I always show the Evil Avatar logo, and that's because I absolutely love that new site. And they helped me out by posting some of my videos on there. And Philip, the guy who runs that website, he's the owner, uh, he heard that I was looking for a copy of one of my favorite vintage games as a kid, and that is Hero. And I was looking for it specifically on the ColecoVision because I've never played it. And he emails me, he's like, dude, I've got a copy of it. Let me send it to you. So he sent me a copy of Hero for the ColecoVision. But the amazing thing about this, it's completely unopened. Now, this, is, this was a game released in 1984. How the hell did this not get opened? in all that time. I mean, when I got a, when I got this in the mail from him, I was blown away. I don't own many unopened games, but this is really cool to own. I was really excited to get a copy of this, man. This is so, so awesome. If you haven't played Hero before and you are into retro, you know, vintage games, you gotta check this game out. I absolutely love it. Now there's another user on Evil Avatar who donated some games to me and his name is Lockwood X. And this guy has an amazing collection. And he emails me and he wants to donate to my man cave because he knows it's going to a good home. And he asked me, he's like, do I have a 3DO? And I was like, no, I don't have one. And he's like, well, he's like, eventually you'll get one. So here's some games to start you off with. He sent me a copy of Blade Force, which is kind of neat. I have no idea what these games are like. And Star Control 2. Doesn't, I don't have the long box, but that's okay. I've got the game and the manual, so I'm most of the way there. And then he also included in there a copy of Corpse Killer for the 3DO. So Lockwood, thank you very much, man. That's very much appreciated. And of course, now I have to be looking for a 3DO to add to my collection. Recently, I was in Deep Head Gaming, which is a small retro gaming store in Burien. And it's owned by my good friends Emilio and Reggie. And I saw that they had a copy of the limited edition of Death Smiles sitting on the shelf. And it was unopened. And they actually, I don't know why they did this, but it was very cool. They actually donated to my channel an unopened copy of Death Smiles, the limited edition. And man, I was blown away by this. For those of you that don't know, Death Smiles is an Xbox 360 game. It's a shooter. And it's like a bullet hell style shooter. And this limited edition comes with a, an Xbox 360 faceplate as well as the soundtrack. And it's pretty cool to own this unopened. So thank you guys for donating to my channel. A fellow YouTuber, Joe, donated a bunch of games to my channel as well. And he included a bunch of really cool stuff in there, including a copy of Felios for the Genesis. Now, if you watched just a couple weeks ago, I did a video about my favorite Genesis sh shmups. This game was included in there. So thank you, Joe, for sending me this just in time to do that video. That was awesome of you to do that. He also included a copy of Toy Story on the Genesis. I, I was actually surprised by this game. The graphics are really good. I don't know if it's any good or not, but it looks fantastic. So I can't wait to play it some more. He also included some sports games in there. Not a big sports fan, but you know what? It's always good to have a couple in your collection, including World Series Baseball for the Genesis. He also included a copy of John Men Football 92. Very cool. He threw in a Game Genie for the Genesis as well. I've never used a Game Genie before, and so this is kind of a neat addition to my collection. He also included in, uh, in that collection some 32X games, including Star Wars. I've heard this is actually a really good version of this. Thing is, and I teased him about it, I don't have a 32X, so when people donate this stuff to me, it just gets me all fired up to add that to my collection. They're not expensive, so I plan to do it soon. He also threw in Doom for the 32X. This is awesome. He also included two Sega CD games, Soul Feast, this looks like a shooter perhaps. And I, like I said, I was telling him I don't have a Sega CD either, <laughs> but it's cool that I, you know, I'll eventually add one, so I'm not worried about it. So it's kind of cool that he's helped kickstart my collection there. And then a Sherlock Holmes game, also for the Sega CD. And then it's a double, so on the back it includes some Sega classics, including Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, and Golden Axe. So thank you very much for these. 
Now about every couple weeks I cruise around to local Seattle retro gaming stores and I take with me a list of games I want to add to my collection and this month I added a bunch that I've been looking for for quite a while including a great shooter called Einhander for the PlayStation 1. This game is getting hard to find and quite pricey and I found a copy at a local gaming store. It's called Game Gurus in Aurora Avenue. He had a copy sitting there and he gave me a hell of a deal. So thank you very much, Lane, for doing that. It's awesome to add to my collection. Also, when I was out and about, I found an unopened original copy of F-Zero for the Super Nintendo. Now, this is another example of how often do you find these games completely unopened? And it looks legit. So saw a copy of this unopened, had to buy it and it only cost me 10 bucks. That seemed like a great deal for such a classic racing game. Also while out, I found a copy of UN Squadron. I've heard great things about this. Usually when people are mentioning shooters on the Super Nintendo, this game will come up as one of their favorites. So finally added this game to my collection and this is excellent, really, really fun. Another game I've been looking for for quite a while is called Super Turrican. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Kind of reminds me of maybe Super Metroid a little bit. So played several levels of this and it's really fun. Kind of hard, but there's lots of different weapons and power-ups and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Also on the Super Nintendo, another shooter called Phalanx. It's a weird, weird label. Some some dude playing the, the banjo or something like that. I don't know how you, they get a shooter out of that, but it's actually pretty fun. On the Sega Genesis, I recently added Truxton, which was also highlighted in another video of mine where we play a bunch of Genesis shooters. On the PlayStation 2, I added Tato Legends. There are 29 original arcade hits in this. I really like these compilation games because, yes, I can go out and play the ROMs you know, through MAME or whatever, or some sort of emulator, but it's nice to have all these on one disc. On the PlayStation 2, I also added Secret Weapons over Normandy. This is by the makers of TIE Fighter and also the X-Wing series, if you've ever played those on the PC, and those are fantastic games, and this is really cool as well. Actually, Drunken Master Paul and I were playing this pretty much the same night that we were also shooting the Snoopy video, so lots of aerial combat in this, good stuff. I added back into my collection Ico, or Eco, however you pronounce that. I originally got this game from Sony years and years ago when it first launched, and I traded it for some reason. I think because at the time I didn't really understand the game, but I've always wanted to add it back in my collection. And even though they've released it on the PlayStation 3 recently where it's remastered in HD, I still wanted to own the original. And then finally for the PlayStation 2, I added a role-playing game called Devil Summoner. And I can never pr pronounce correctly the Shin Megami Tensei, I hope that was close enough. <laughs> but anyways, these are pretty cool. I love the art style in these games. They, the, the character designs are fantastic. And so saw this relatively cheap and wanted to add it to my collection. And then on the original NES, I added Super Dodgeball. Got this off of Craigslist. A guy was selling it for just a couple bucks. And this is actually a sought after game. And so I thought this was kind of neat that I just saw it in a pile of random NES games. And now it's in my collection. Cool to own. Up until recently, if I wanted to play Sega Master System games, I had to use a power base converter for the original Genesis. However, on Craigslist, I found a, an actual Master System in great condition for a really good price. And this is a really cool looking console. I'm actually pretty excited to own this in my collection. And there's a lot of really interesting games for the, the Master System including this shooter that a lot of people recommended I get called Fantasy Zone. Played a little bit of this. It's kind of like Defender, but it's kind of, it, it's all kitty looking and, and bright colors. It's really weird. I've heard that Fantasy Zone 2 is even better, so I plan to add that very soon. Now here's something you don't see every day. I found this at a garage sale, bought it for $5, and that is a Coleco Telstar. This thing was made in 1976, and it's a Pawn clone. So it's not like the most exciting game in the world. It's got a couple different settings here, like tennis, hockey, and handball. But man, it is so 
70s, isn't it? I mean, it, I love this fake wood. It's heavy. <laughs> And uh, it works great. So I primarily bought this because I just think it makes a really cool conversation piece. When you come down into Man Cave, you see it there, you're just like, what the hell is that? So this was a really fun thing to add to my collection. So that's some of the games I've added to my collection over the last couple months. But if you wanna see everything in my collection, I actually publish it online. And there is a link right below this video. So click on that and take a look. And I just gotta say again, I never expected that when I started a YouTube channel that people would willingly donate video games to me. And so I absolutely appreciate that. I'm honored that people do that. I take great care of these games, clean them up, and I love them like my own children. So I wanna thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. So that's it. And I wanna thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Take care.